<clears throat> so here's another problem on the problem set. And now this is dealing with um, what, what I'm seeing about seeing with this is Let's see, I'm seeing that, uh, so this is a random sample of 80 years of corn, and he finds 12 that have worms. So I'm not, nowhere in this problem am I told a, pot, a mean and a standard deviation. And of course, we have the telling us this is about proportions. So I know I'm working with sample proportions. So for question A, what's the point estimate? Well, they're asking us for, for uh, what's, what's the center of this distribution? So since this is about proportions, I'm going to deal with a P hat number. And for this one, I've got 12 out of 80, which had worms. So that works out to be about, let's see, actually it's, my calculator says it's exactly 0.15. Okay, so that's our point estimate. That's the best guess based on the sample. So now they want us to come up with a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of uh, corn with, years of corn with worms. So that tells me I'm going to use that formula, p hat, plus or minus whatever the z-score is we want, um, times now for proportion, we take our p hat estimate times 1 minus our estimate and divide it by the sample size and then we take the square root of that mess. So this is my margin of error. So to get that, well, let's set it up here. I guess I should look at the z-score table. So for a 95% confidence interval, I want to use one, z equals 1.96. So I'm going to start setting this up. Let's see. So I'm going to do 0.15 as my p hat, plus or minus 1.96 times the square root of 0.15, and then I know 1 1 minus 0.15 is 0.85. So that's what I'm going to write here. And that's going to get divided by 80 because that's the size of my sample. Now, it's really important when you're dealing with proportions is not to round too soon. So let your calculator carry everything. I would, I would, I would do this. I would take 0.15, multiply that by 0.85, then divide that by 80, and then. You know, usually once you hit it equals, you can carry that answer in your calculator. I mean, it depends on your calculator. It might, you might have a calculator with an answer button on it. But then what you do is take the square root, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to take the square root of that answer. Let that calculator carry the whole mess. Don't worry about rounding yet. So rounded, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, 0. 0.0399. This calculator I'm using does rounds a little too quickly, I think, but it should be good enough. So that's just this part. Let's see, how do I get my change my ink here? Okay, that's just this part of the formula. Okay, that's all I've done is calculate that part of the formula. So now I'm going to multiply that by the by the z score to get the margin of error. So 1.96 times that answer. Will be my margin of error. So that gives me 0.0782. So now to get my confidence interval, I'm going to take my 0.15 minus the 0.0782, and I take 0.15 and add 0.0782, and that will be my lower limit and my upper limit of my confidence interval. So for part C, they want us to do a 99% confidence interval. Well, the only thing that changes is the z-score we're using. So we're going to change that z-score to uh, 2.57, uh, 2.575. And that makes the margin of error Point one zero two eight, and then add it, subtract it. And that'll be your lower and upper bounds for that. So he wants to be part D says farmer Kyle wants to be more accurate with his ninety nine percent confidence interval. He wants an estimate to be no more than two percentage points. 
what sample size is needed. So now we need to do a new formula here. So what they're asking us to do here is to use use the last, let's see, use this prior value for p hat to calculate this number. So we have some idea of what p hat is, at least we think we do. So we're going to be using this problem right here, this situation right here where we know p hat's about 0.15. And we want the margin of error to be within, what, two percentage points? So we're going to change that to a decimal. So let's, let's set that up. So I want to be, I want to use a 99% confidence interval. So that tells me I'm going to use a z-score of 2.575. And we're going to square that. And then we're going to take our 0.15 which is our estimate, and then 1 minus 0.15, which is what Q is, is 0.85. And that goes all over our, let's see, our margin of error is what, 2 percentage points? So I'm going to make that 0.02, remember to change it to a decimal. And that gets uh, squared also, right? So for the numerator, once I calculate that, I'm getting 0.8454, and I'm going to divide that by 0.02 squared. I think I know what that answer is, but I need a little more coffee before I trust my brain. So that's 0 0.0004, and now I'm going to divide those two. And that's telling me 200, let's see, 2,113.5, yada, yada, yada. But in order to get a big enough sample, I mean, 213 is not quite big enough. So we get a round up. We're going to go with uh, 2,114 is going to be our sample size we need in order to make that a little more accurate. Now, the only thing that's different between this for in D and in E is they're telling us, hey, you don't know what you used for, a, for a, um, an estimate for the population proportion. So the way to get another estimate, if you don't know this, and this is the way that it gives you the maximum, this is like a super huge sample size. And this is one reason why they like to do some kind of preliminary estimate just to make sure is they say hey use 50 percent well if you do that and if you look at that formula you see the where they have the 0.25 well that's coming from 0.5 to 0.5 which is 0.25 and everything else is the same except we're going to get the, in a slightly different numbers except the sample size is huge it's it's amazing how big it is Okay, so I'll do that. So in the numerator now, I'm getting 1.6577. And if we divide that by the 0 0.00, and I did that wrong just a minute here. I'm getting a sample size of 4,145 because I'm going to round up, remember. Okay, so that's how you do this kind of problem.